Hi, this is Bridget from Sproul Cannabis Collective coming to you with part two of a series we're doing in partnership with Rocket Packs where we're talking about the pros and cons of the cannabis industry. Now last time we did a recording we talked to you about how the regulated cannabis industry can be both expensive but profitable. Um, and we talked about the variances between those things, relying more on the profitability side. But today we're gonna delve more into how the industry in and of itself is very popular, very trendy, very sexy, but it's also still a business first. And we're gonna talk about the pros and cons that come with that. All right, see you soon. Yeah, we're back talking about now how the cannabis industry is definitely very popular. Let me tell you, it's full of happy people because they're passionate and they're doing what they love. Uh, but aside from that, it's also very trendy. As a matter of fact, more entertainers are getting in the cannabis industry than I care to count. As a matter of fact, I think I stopped counting at 86. That's 86 people who are entertainers and celebrities in this country that have now hopped into the cannabis industry. Names that you would expect, like, you know, Snoop Dogg, Cheech and Chong, uh, of course, Mike Tyson and Jay-Z, but then you have some that you wouldn't even expect, like Jane Fonda, Martha Stewart, John Legend, like Magic Johnson, these people who have technically never really been uh, too much involved in, uh, in the societal side of cannabis, and now they're hopping in the industry. Why? Because like I said before, it's very profitable. But here's the thing, it's still a business. And at the end of the day, do you know that 67% of those celebrity-based cannabis businesses fail? Why? Because again, if you don't put the business of cannabis first, it doesn't really matter what name you attach to your product, you still have to know how to conduct your business accordingly. One of the things people don't sometimes recognize is that cannabis is the long game. You actually have to invest in this and it doesn't happen overnight. If you decide that you're gonna create a cannabis product, whether you're a celebrity or not, it can still take you years to get your product on the shelves. And once you get it on the shelves, of course you have to deal with marketing barriers and compliance issues and all of the things that the rest of us in the cannabis industry have to do and it's not something you can really do on a part-time basis you have to invest everything into it your time your effort and yes your money because like I said before it is kind of expensive but the other thing that people don't realize is that because we are so trendy in this industry and so popular in this industry we're also under a microscope there are no rooms for mistakes or errors so if you make an error it could cost you hundreds of thousands if not millions of dollars in compliance issues and at the end of the day if you're not ready to hop into this industry with 100% of yourself, you probably wanna leave it alone. Cannabis right now is fitting itself into big business. That means we're following policies that Fortune 500 companies follow because we in and of ourselves are gonna be a $37 billion industry by 2024, 2025. So right now, if you're not ready to jump into this industry and give it the respect that it deserves, you might not make it, whether you're a celebrity or not. But if you are interested in learning more about this business, I encourage you to take a look at my cannabis business course. I'm doing a cannabis business basics masterclass. The information is available on my website, www.sprollcollective.com. Dot com and actually it's also Sproul Cannabis Collective, both of those, dot com. Um, and you can find out a little bit more about how to get started in the cannabis industry if you are indeed serious about stepping into it and establishing a business. I teach you everything. I teach you how to write your business plan. I teach you how to uh, create your branding and identity. And I teach you about the business trends of this industry. I teach you about the licensing process on a state level. Anything that you're interested in that regards this cannabis business, the regulated cannabis business, I can help you out with. My Sproul Cannabis Collective firm is a, a cannabis business consultancy located here in Washington, D.C., and we help people just like you get licenses and get started in this business. So uh, best of luck to you, and until our next video, much peace and blessings. Happy New Year.